everyone. My name is Johnny and I am the new minister at Haddon Baptist. As a minister, it is my job to tell you and as many people as I can the wonderful story of a fiercely loving God who cares for all of this world. Can you believe that's a job? I think it's a very good job and I'm really glad to be able to record this story for you today. I hope it won't be too long before I'll be able to come in and see you all and tell you some stories in person. I believe that you've been hearing some stories of wondrous women in the Bible and all the great things that God did through them. Hannah, Esther and then Mary and Elizabeth last week. But today I'm going to tell you the story of a marvellous man. His story is linked to the story of Mary because he was Mary's fiance. His name was Joseph. And as we get ready for Christmas, his is a good story to know. I hope you like it. Joseph was a carpenter, an excellent carpenter. If anyone in his hometown of Nazareth needed anything to be made, Joseph was the man. If anyone needed anything fixing, Joseph was the person to see. And so Joseph was busy, very busy. Joseph always worked very hard and for these last few months he was working especially hard because he was engaged to be married to the lovely Mary and he was busy earning money for that wedding day. Joseph was so busy that when God wanted to speak to Joseph he had to wait until Joseph was fast asleep and then when he was fast asleep God sent an angel with a very special message. Joseph, whispered the angel. Joseph, the angel repeated. But Joseph had been so busy, he was so tired, that the angel had to whisper it into Joseph's dreams. Joseph, the angel said. Mary was telling you the truth. She is going to have a baby, a very special baby. He has been sent by God. You must marry Mary and help her take care of God's son. You must name him Jesus the Saviour. When Joseph woke up, he was upset, very upset. He was sad and a bit worried. And this wasn't how he imagined his wedding, his marriage with Mary. He knew people would say nasty things about her and him. Mary had told him she was going to have a special baby sent by God. And now an angel had told him that Mary was going to have a special baby sent by God. What was he going to do? This wasn't his plan at all. But if he didn't look after Mary, who would? If he didn't marry Mary, who would look after the little boy, God's son? So Joseph made a decision. He was determined. God had given him a special job to do and he was going to do it. He would marry Mary and bring up God's son like he was his own. And so Joseph went back to making a mending, mending and making, so he could take care of Mary and the baby. But then Joseph got some news that made him become worried all over again. Very worried indeed. For it was nearly time for Mary to have the baby. And then the Romans just told everyone that you have to return to your hometown to be counted. To be counted. Joseph was from Bethlehem. This was a long, long way to travel. And he was worried it would be too long for Mary. But Mary just got busy. Very busy. Packing all the things that they might need for their long journey. Food, water, hay for the donkey, clothes for the baby. So much to get ready. So Mary became tired, very tired. And the journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem sitting on that donkey was wonky and bumpy, busy and long and tiring. And everybody seemed to be going to Bethlehem. Mary was worried, very worried. For when they arrived, it was already dark. And she could feel it was nearly time for the baby to be born and they couldn't find a room anywhere. Finally, they find a kind innkeeper who said, I don't have any rooms, but I do have a warm stable round the back. Follow me. This wasn't Joseph's plan at all, but he was happy, very happy because Mary gave birth to a little boy. And Joseph held that tiny baby and he knew how special that he was. And he said, little one, your name is Jesus. For you will be the saviour of the world. Isn't that just a great story? I wonder what your favourite bit was. I wonder if you've ever felt like Joseph.
and things weren't just going to your plan. When things surprise you or maybe they worry you or make you upset. That can be really hard, can't it? I wonder how you deal with times like that. I really like Joseph. I really like how he is able to think about what is good and what is loving and then try to do those things. Even when it wasn't his idea or part of his plan. And you know what? Sometimes when we can put aside our plans, we can find ourselves in the middle of a miracle. I'm going to say a little prayer now. And if you would like to make it your prayer too, please say Amen with me at the end. Dear God, our great Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus to us to be our light and to help bring love to this world. We thank you that you sent him to such wonderful parents, Mary and Joseph, and we thank you for our parents. We pray for those children who don't have any parents. We know that isn't part of a plan. And so we pray for people who will do good like Joseph and look after and love those children. We also pray for ourselves, God. There are times when things happen that we don't expect. They don't ha that happen like we wouldn't want them to. And it can make us upset and worried. And we pray that in those times, we will hear you speak to us, showing us what is good and what is loving. And we pray that we will find joy in those different plans. Thank you, God, that you love us. Thank you that in the baby Jesus, you came to be with us. May we know him, may we know you this Christmas in our lives and our hearts. Amen. Well, thank you for listening so well. Next week we'll be hearing the story of some visitors to that little baby. I wonder if you know who they are. It's a good one. Goodbye and see you soon. Music